The Global Panel on Agriculture and Food Systems for Nutrition has developed a Food Systems Policy Handbook, a guide to help policymakers navigate their way through the complexity of food systems so they are more sustainable and provide healthier diets. To discuss this policy handbook, I'm delighted to be joined by Professor Amos Laugh from the School of Public Health at the University of Ghana. Professor Laugh, for those of us that work within the food systems policy landscape, we've seen some real positive action in recent years, not least the UN Food Systems Summit, Nutrition for Growth, and of course the African Union declaring 2022 as a year of nutrition. May I ask Professor Laugh, how confident are you that we've reached a real milestone for transformational change in our food systems? Yeah, th thank you. Having served as um, a curator for uh, some of the dialogues, uh, there were times when you know uh, participants actually got angry uh, about the present, but at the same time are also frightened uh, about the future. Just look at prospect or possibility of uh, having our food systems not transformed and us, you know, uh, 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 um, uh, driving into a future where the system fails and all of us, you know, fall into a calamity. And so that, that has been frightening. Uh, and so, yes, for me, I, I think uh, I'm op op optimistic uh, moving into the future uh, that, that that possibility of addressing our food system challenges, addressing malnutrition in all its forms, uh, in line with the declaration uh, that 2022 would be a year for nutrition uh, 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 is, 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 is possible. But I, I would say even beyond 2022, I think every year should be a year for nutrition, uh, not just one year. Yes, indeed. Thank you, Professor La. My next question is a little difficult to answer because we realize there's many challenges, but what do you think are the key challenges in terms of managing the transition and transformation of our food systems? There are a number of challenges. One of the topmost challenge um, has been and remains the fact that um, some of the key actors in this space need to act. They can act. They have the resources to act. They have the know-how, but are they committed? And so I'm talking about businesses, private sector. How do we incentivize uh, uh, businesses to do what they are supposed to do? I think the second challenge has to do with the fact that how can we get you to uh, understand the agency, the need to get food systems transformed? The, the youth of today are going to be the CEOs of multilateral you know, food industry tomorrow. Once we get them to understand today, can they carry that into the future? That is one thing. The dialogues also produce a number of trade-offs. So turning these trade-offs into win, 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 win for us, you and I, uh, win for uh, industry, as I just talked about them, but also win for the planet is another thing. Thank you, Professor La. Some very important points there about the need to incentivize the private sector, the power of youth, and also this potential triple win, if you like, on policy trade-offs. Professor La, we now have this policy handbook from the Global Panel. How do you think this can help policymakers overcome some of these challenges that you've uh, highlighted? Th thank you. I, I see this handbook as a very, very important tool um, for all food system stakeholders. And I've talked about them, including governments, um, private sector, civil society, and those of us in academia who are interested in scholar activism. Uh, the, the handbook is curated and presented in the way that all these stakeholders can make use of. You know, there are times when we produce outputs uh, that sometimes can be seen to be exoteric. So it, we produce, academics produce output for academics, but this is done in such a way that all these stakeholders can benefit from. And in particular, uh, you, you take, uh, a food systems policy issue um, presents the evidence behind it, and that makes it a policy issue. Uh, you present key facts. Uh, you have, you know, suggested or potential policy recommendations, and you go ahead to provide policy examples. I, I just I couldn't see, you know, a handbook or a tool that 
is designed to be used by all systems, uh, uh, food systems actors, uh, 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 more relevant than, than this handbook uh, produced by the Global Panel. Professor Amos Ma from the School of Public Health at the University of Ghana. It's been lovely speaking with you and thank you for your time. No problem. Okay, goodbye. <laughs>